Okay, hi everybody. In this question we're being asked to solve this equation. So let's take a quick look here. Now this is not an exponential equation because the variable here is not in the exponent. This is the variable's in the base. So this is like a power equation. So what we're going to do here is first of all is isolate the power. We'll divide by, by 5. So x is e sorry, x to the two thirds will be equal to 9. And now what we gotta do is we gotta get rid of the exponent on the x here. So now what we're going to do here is take the whole equation and raise it to the three halves. Now this raises a little bit of an issue here because we're going to end up taking the square root okay, of the nine here. And what I would advise you doing here is, is make it look like this. Okay, let's take the square root. Okay, we're going to take the square root and then we're going to take that whole thing and cube it. Okay, because we can really do the two parts of this, this rational exponent in whatever order we want. And the reason I would suggest this is because, let's think about this, when you take the square root, actually I probably could have given myself a little bit more room there, I'm going to take the square root of 9, but anytime I do that, there's a, it opens up a little bit of uncertainty. I don't know whether I meant the positive or negative square root. Now, the reason why that's significant is because that creates a bit of an issue here, because if it was the positive square root of 9, well that's going to be positive 3, cubed will be 27. However, if I meant the negative square root of 9 cubed, that will end up being negative 27. And both of those are correct possible answers to this. Now, had we done this in the reverse order, we would have cubed the 9 first and then taken the positive or negative square root of, of that result. Okay, but this is a little bit easier to simplify first and then, and then make it a larger value.